Hello everyone. Today we will see understanding heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. Heat transfer. It always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place. It will always move from a warmer place to a cooler place. Hot objects in a cooler room will cool to the room temperature. Cold objects in a warmer room will heat up to the room temperature. Hot objects will always cool in cooler rooms to the room temperature and cool objects will always heat up in a warmer room to the cool room temperature. Question. If a cup of a coffee and a red popsicle were left on the table on this room what would happen to them and why the cup of coffee will cool until it reaches room temperature and the popsicle will melt and then the liquid will warm to the room temperature the cup of coffee will cool to the room temperature and the popsicle will melt to the room temperature Heat transfer methods. Heat transfers in three ways. Heat will transfer in three ways. Conduction, convection and radiation. First we will see conduction. When you heat a metal strip at one end and the heat travels to the other. As you heat the metal Particles vibrate. This vibration makes the adjacent particles vibrate and so on and so on. The vibrations are passed along the metal and so is the heat. What we call this? We call this as conduction. Why does metal feel cooler than wood if they are both at the same temperature? Metal is a conductor, wood is an insulator. Metal is a good conductor or wood is an insulator or a bad conductor. Metal conducts the heat away from your hands. Wood does not conduct heat away from your hands as well as the metal. So the wood feels warmer than the metal. Now we will see convection. What happens to the particles in a liquid or a gas when you heat them? The particles spread out and become less dense. The particles will spread away from them and will less dense. Fluid movement. Cooler, more dense fluid sinks through warmer, less dense fluid. In effect, warmer liquids and gases rises up. Cooler liquids and gases sink. You can understand this by this diagram. You can see the, these are warmer gas or liquid. It will rise up and these are cooler le uh, liquids or gases. It will sink down. Cool air sinks. Now we will see how cool air sinks. There is a uh, freezer compartment to put in the fridge. It is put at the top because cool air sinks. So it cools the food on the way down. This is freezer compartment. It is a warmer at the bottom so this warmer air rises and a convection current is set up this process is called convection current the third method of heat transfer radiation how does the heat energy get from the sun to the earth there is no medium present between the earth 
and the sun. So how will the heat transferred from the sun to the earth? There are no particles between the sun and the earth, so it cannot travel by conduction or by convection. It cannot travel by conduction or convection because there are no medium or particles present in between sun and earth. So what we call this method? We call this method as radiation. Radiation. Radiation travels in a straight line. That is true. Radiation. Radiation can travel through a vacuum. False. Radiation requires particles to travel. That is also false. And radiation travels at the speed of light. Yes, that is true. Convection questions. Why does hot air rise and cool air sinks? Because of convection current, you all know that. Cool air is more dense than warmer air. So the cool air falls through the warmer air. Why are boilers placed beneath hot water tanks in people's house? Hot water rises. So, when the boiler heats the water and the hot water rises, the water tank is filled with hot water. Radiation questions. Why are houses painted white in hot countries? White reflects heat, radiation and keeps the house cooler. A shiny colored object will absorb heat and white colored object will radiate heat, will reflect the heat. So, so the same concept is applied here. Why are shiny fall blankets wrapped around the mat marathon runners and the end of the race? The shiny metal reflects the heat radiation from the runner back in. This stops the runner getting cold. So, which of this which of the following is not a method of transfer of heat? Radiation, insulation, conduction or convection? So, answer is B, insulation. In which of the following particles are called closely packed? Solid, liquid, gas or fluid? So, the right answer is solid. How does the heat energy reach the earth from the sun? By radiation, by conduction, by convection or by insulation? Simple, by radiation. Next question. In which process the particles spread out and become less dense? Conduction, convection, radiation, all of the above. So the right answer is convection. In which process heat travels at the speed of light? The same question where we had seen in propols, right? Speed of light, conduction, convection, radiation, none of this. Radiation. So thank you for watching.